if you're new here, I'm Erin, and if you like all things lifestyle, vlogs, unboxing, and reviews, you in the right place. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe below because I do post two times a week. That's Sunday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Standard time. So, 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 if y'all click on today's video, y'all already know I'm coming back today with the long awaited Velvet Caviar case plus accessories, unboxing, plus review for my iPhone 14 Pro Max and my AirPods Pro 2. Yes, if y'all do want to go ahead and get any other products in this video, y'all can go ahead and use my link down below to get 30% off of y'all first Velvet Caviar case purchase, you know, just in case anybody is interested. So if y'all interested in anything I just said, go ahead and stay tuned. But before we go ahead and get into today's video, do not forget to go ahead and give a, this video a huge thumbs up because it does let me know that y'all are interested in this type of content here on my channel and y'all definitely trying to see some more in the future. So let's not waste some time. Let's go ahead and hop right into today's unboxing. One thing I'm super excited for y'all, I'm not even finna lie, it gotta be this right here. I have not seen nobody review the battery pack from them at all, so hopefully this video can help y'all make that decision. So y'all already know how we do. Put all this off. We always open the AirPods case first. So let's go ahead and put my AirPods Pro 2 on the scene. And this is what the package is looking like. Yeah, I'm a little nervous because I know for a fact I ordered the Pro case, but the way this is looking, it's looking like a regular AirPods case. I hope that's not the case, but if it is, love caviar, y'all know what's coming next. Let's go ahead and get inside this box. So, we do have a bit of plastic right there, so let me go ahead and put that down. My trusty dusty knife. If anybody's interested in this knife, it will be linked below in the description box. Let me go ahead and clean that up. Yeah, I'm really hoping and praying that this is the right, the right case because I know I ordered the right case. It's super difficult to get this out. And it is the, <sighs> y'all, I'm not even finna lie, I'm not finna cap. I was scared for a minute because y'all see how the front of this look, it just say AirPods case and then like even the way it look on the box, it don't look like the right case. But it's right y'all. All right, Velvet Cavi, y'all, y'all had me scared for a second. I destroyed the box, well, I guess this is going in the trash. Mmm, my heart. Super cute. And the material is also that velvet like material from their other collections. So, this is what this is looking like. Super cute, y'all. Why I look like that? I'm tripping. Let's go ahead and try this on. Snug fit. Okay, and then let me just try to do this real fast for y'all. Hold up, nope. I'm not gonna struggle with this on camera. Let me just this up real fast. So this is what I just don't focus. So this is what we is looking like. Super cute, y'all. Check this out. Cutouts, perfect. 
let's see if it pops off oh uh, now we have a caviar y'all know better mm. we're gonna have to see how this hold up over time let's get some up plus size what are y'all thoughts on this design so far i feel like this is super cute and on a scale from one to ten this can get a 9.5 let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below now that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the case. Let's go ahead and put my deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max on the scene. And y'all already know the case that we will be unboxing or unwrapping today. This case actually did not come with a box. It came with this little bubble wrap, plastic, baggy, whatever you want to call it. I actually have another one of these somewhere in my closet because they sent me one before. So let's just go ahead and get on the inside of this. So this is what this case is looking like outside of its confines. Let's get some more close-ups before we actually, you know, take the plastic off, which is my favorite part. Yeah, I'm not even finna lie to y'all. The design of this case look much better in person. So y'all already know, raised camera bump. Y'all know we have a caveat on plating guns. Cutouts look perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and pour this plastic off. Mm, my favorite part so this is what it's looking like without the plastic on it y'all can kind of see it kind of got like a little hologram looking look looking a hologram look to it and y'all already know that this case is MagSafe compatible you look like we got some more plastic on the inside and do let me go ahead and just put this little flap up Oop. Don't make me work for it. <laughs> now, one thing I can tell y'all, based off of the material of the case, I don't think that this pink is gonna change colors. And I'm not gonna lie, I am slightly disappointed because I thought that this case was gonna be, it was gonna be made like the Bratz case was the yeah both of the Bratz cases that I have and it's not really made like that it's made like the crop case where I have like the rounded borders versus like you know the more squared borders so that's something that I noticed which is not like a complete downside but I am a little disappointed I'm not gonna lie to y'all let's go ahead and try this bad boy y'all super duper snug fit so let me go ahead and straighten that up so this is what this case is looking like on my deep purple iphone 14 pro max let's go ahead and get some more close-ups one thing i do want to tell y'all is i am kind of glad that it's not made the other way just so the borders won't change those that's the only upside <laughs> So as y'all can see, we do have a raised camera bump, but y'all know I do have my camera lens protector on there, which will also be linked down below in the description box, along with a privacy screen protector. Okay, pink borders, and this is like a, what we say, like a baby pink. Sorry about that, y'all, that's my cat in the background, doing cat things. <laughs> the borders of it is super cute though. Okay, perfect cutouts on the bottom. On a scale from one to clicky, these buttons are definitely clicky. 
I would get them a 9. <laughs> Easy access to that volume on and volume off button. I don't know why my volume was just on because y'all know I'm playing games, but <laughs> turn that off. And then y'all already know how velvet caviar is coming. Of course, we have a raised lip on the front, so y'all know what that means. We are protected if we lay this bad boy flat. So, what would y'all rate this case on a scale from 1 to 10? Now, I got this case because y'all wanted me to unbox it. So, I'm going to just go ahead and assume that y'all have really high expectations or like a high rating for this case now what would i rate this case i would give this case a 9.5 out of 10. i do really love that pink though like oh y'all this pink is so cute in person so cute okay now y'all know the other caviar hold on hold up y'all so the butterflies is actually matte and then like the actual case is glossy if y'all hear what i'm saying like you can kind of tell that the case is glossy super cute y'all now we already know velvet caviar cases can sustain a drop we can actually do a quick drop test <laughs> now even though this case can you know take a drop a fall I'm still not gonna be dropping my phone especially not with no new brand new velvet caviar case mm -mm. nah you won't catch me doing that now do I feel like y'all should go out and get this absolutely especially if y'all want to get it 30% off of the retail price which is a deal might I add go ahead and use the link down below so you can get 30% off of this case and the AirPods case if y'all wish to do so now this was actually sent free with my own um, purchase or whatever so I did not pay for this now at a glance I think they said this was like 20 to 25 dollars this don't look like it's worth 20 to 25 dollars so I'm glad they sent it for free because I don't think I would have bought this with my own money. I'm just going to keep this a buck with y'all. Once before, somebody actually asked me if I could get one of these to, you know, unbox and do a review on. But look how that worked out. I was sent it for free. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay. It's a cute little charm. Give the camera a focus on it. There we go. I've never had a phone charm before. Let me see. Y'all can kind of see the velvet carrier right there. Let me go ahead and show y'all me connecting this, you know, just in case y'all don't know how to. So, you know, you just could stick this through here. <laughs> Bam. And then we gonna bring this through. Try to make sure I get it all on camera. Come on, go through that. <laughs> okay. Ah, I don't even know. This can be related. Okay, so this is how it looks connected. So this is how this is looking connected to my phone. I feel like this actually go with this and I don't think that this is supposed to go with this case, I'm not sure. I thought they just sent this, you know, just because, but it actually kind of matched it a little bit. So am I supposed to like wear it like this? I don't, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I don't know how I feel about that. It's cute, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna keep this on here like this. I'm not a fan of the whole charm connected to the case. Y'all can kind of see. I don't think it's gonna break the case or anything, but I don't know. It's just not my favorite. Would I recommend y'all go buy a phone charm? I don't feel like these is worth $25 or $20. I don't know. It's just. Mm -mm. Maybe $10? Heavy on the maybe. But I don't know. 
I'm not a fan of it. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. What I would give the charm, I would give this a 5 out of 10 because me personally, I don't have a purpose for it. So, you know, that's just me. Y'all may find a purpose for it. Y'all may like it. I don't really care for it. So this is what the box is looking like. Yeah, I've been wanting one of these for so long, so I'm just super excited to get inside this box and see if it's really worth the hype. Let's go ahead and get inside the box. Now y'all know, I'm not the one to read instructions, but I'm gonna need to read the instructions on this. Let's go ahead and set this down. And I do like that I can also charge my AirPods Pro case on here too, or just regular AirPods case, if it's wireless charging compatible. One thing I am a little nervous about, yeah, I see how they saying that, you know, if I try to use them when it's super hot, it may not work. Which sucks because y'all know it's really hot out here in Arizona. So I'm going to let y'all know how it does like hold up against the heat. Because I be needing this because when I be working, my phone be dying really fast. So I'm going to let y'all know how it hold up. So this is what's on the inside of the box. We got the charger, the MagSafe wireless charger, obviously. And then we do have the charger for it. I wonder if it came charged already, or well, like a little charge. But y'all see, it do take USB-C. So, I, I don't know, I thought that it would have took like, you know, the micro SDs. Y'all know how some of them will wireless banks be. It be taking that, but it's good to know that it take USB-C. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Like, I'm not sure how heavy the Apple one is, but it's not as light as I thought. So this is what it's just looking like. It's all about these details for me, y'all. And Velvet Carry, y'all gonna do it every single time. And they also have a power on and power off button too. And I don't think that the Apple ones have that. So y'all, this is actually charged right here a little bit. That's what it look like. Let's go ahead and try the AirPods case. Y'all, this is, this, Vava Cavity, y'all, y'all know what y'all doing. This is nice. This is super cute. And I like how they actually, well, it's not strong enough to wear it upside down or not. Ooh. It's not strong enough for you to like, just like do this and then be like, oh yeah, it can't do that. But if we just need to, hold up. Oh, it's not gonna do it again? Did it turn on? Did it die? <laughs> I think it died, y'all. <laughs> okay. So, at a glance, this is super cute, y'all. I really love the design. And I also love how I can use this with any MagSafe compatible case. So, it don't have to just be the case that it came with. Well, it didn't come with that, but y'all know. It don't have to be this case. It could be any case. So that's a big plus. I cannot wait to use this in real life, if y'all get what I mean. Let me go ahead and try this on the actual phone. 
Ooh. But the magnet strong on the phone. Or maybe it's because the magnet on the actual iPhone is strong, if y'all get what I'm saying. Cause this is on here. This is on here. Oh, it took some effort to pull that off, but. Okay. I don't feel like it at, nah, it do. I was just gonna say it don't add that much weight to the phone. It does. Cause y'all already, oh. It's charging, hold on. It's charging y'all. Oh, it's real hard to move this magnet. Y'all, you could probably find something just as nice on Amazon, like for real, for real. Now, just looking at it like this, this is cute y'all. This is like overly fancy if you ask me. Like, you know, this, why is it so expensive? Like, why couldn't it be like $50? But I guess that would have been too much, like, right? So, let's go ahead and check out the case and AirPods case. And the next clip. Before we wrap up today's video, I want to go ahead and just show y'all all the products again, and I'm going to give y'all my final thoughts. First things first, let's check this out. Like I said, y'all, this is not something that I would spend my money on. I did receive this as a free gift for the purchase. So I kind of feel like since it's free, it's cool. Do I feel like y'all should buy this? I mean, if you into stuff like this, have at it. Me personally, I wouldn't spend no more than $10 on something like this. But then again, I wouldn't buy something like this because this is just not my cup of tea. It's not my flavor. So, no, I don't recommend this. Next, let's go ahead and check out the AirPods case. Y'all, this is so cute. Y'all see I got it connected, you know. <laughs> it only took <laughs> five minutes off camera. But yes, I would definitely recommend the AirPods case. Let's check this out. Look at this design. So cute. Yes, 1000% recommend this. Y'all already know I will be doing an updated review in about a month, so y'all stay tuned. I can let y'all know how this case has held up over the course of one month. Why is my camera not focused? Now, let's go ahead and check out the phone case. So this is the case along with the MagSafe battery. Yes, I would definitely recommend this case. Y'all, trust me, this should not change colors. Don't quote me 100% until I do the updated review. I just know the style of this case in particular, they don't change colors. And they don't change colors because it has the glossy border, not the matte border. So I would definitely recommend this. I mean, just look at it. Then especially if y'all can get it, you know, 30% off, why not? Why would you not? that on camera yeah I'm at my setup <laughs> and then last but not least the actual MagSafe battery now this is like a doozy for me I want to say it's cute I love the design of it you know I love the caviar but I don't know if I could justify a $80 purchase or just tell y'all like yes go out and get all this stuff I just unboxed because this is expensive like if this was a little bit cheaper, I would feel more confident, you know, recommending this or suggesting that, you know, people buy it. But this is very expensive, y'all. I would not recommend y'all to buy this unless you have the money for it and you really want it. I do like that you can use it with any Velvet Caviar case or any MagSafe case, you know, that's a plus. But this is too expensive. This is, this is just too expensive. So I wanna say no, I won't recommend this. So that's just my thoughts. So let's go ahead and connect that. Y'all, these are some strong magnets. Like, I do feel confident. Like if I was outside, like, oh, I almost dropped my phone, but I grabbed the, uh, the battery pack. <laughs> so those is my thoughts. So with that being said, let's actually get ready and wrap up this video. 
in the next clip. So, if you made it to the end of today's video, yes, I see you, and yes, I do appreciate you. If y'all want to see more content just like this and from me on my channel in the future, y'all know what y'all need to be doing. Yes, I remember y'all at the beginning, but you know I love reminding y'all. At the end, do not forget to go ahead and give uh, this video a huge thumbs up because it does let me know that y'all are interested in this type of content here on my channel, and y'all definitely should see some more in the future. It will also help push me and my channel out to a wider audience so we can hit 1,400 little hearts, aka 1,400 plus subscribers here on my channel so we can continue growing here on YouTube. Also, y'all know the drill. Y'all know what's coming next. Do not forget to go ahead and subscribe below because you already know I do post two times a week and I never, ever, 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 ever miss an upload. Yes, y'all can fact check me on that but before i let y'all go i have to let y'all know that i do love and appreciate every single last part here on my channel y'all know y'all forever in my heart and i will see y'all in my next upload bye y'all